Oh. Hi. Well, really, I mean, there's, there's more than one to. Oh, you had sign T over three? Yeah. I don't oh, know. Oh, oh, you had. Oh, oh you, did, you didn't have a six? No. Okay. So, so, so you're off by a constant yep. vector. <laughs> okay. Which means I gotta. Well, maybe it's best to fly by a six. Um, <laughs> it's not going to be that simple because of how the six is taken into account. And, yeah. Yeah. Um, but you can take each term and multiply the right constant factor to multiply by if you sift through your work very carefully. Or there is the easier way to do this problem. Um, the other way. Yeah. <laughs> um, so anytime you have a closed curve in the plane, all right, so I'll write that down. We have a closed curve in the plane that's oriented counterclockwise, like this one is. And it's eligible for a Green's theorem. Now, whether Green's theorem will give you a workable integral, that's never matter. You got you got to check that out. You might decide, well, this is just as bad or maybe worse, or it could be a whole lot better. So, just let's find out. Um, actually, if it was clockwise, no big deal. You just got to switch the sign. So. Okay. <clears throat> so is the air conditioner broken or something? Yeah, it's got really hot in here. Yeah. See, I'm getting cold on my sweats dry. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, cause usually they have it going really strong and I'm like freezing in my office, but um, which was nice when I came here last fall to get used to this weather. Loved how when I'd walk outside my glasses would fog up. You know, I, I noticed this one philosophy teacher, he does his classes outside. <laughs> Like he, he literally takes a class outside and mm -hmm. they sit in the grass and they teach class that way. So, well, if we had a chocolate outside, <laughs> we could do math outside. Yeah, it's the, that's more, more difficult to do that. So, yeah. um, birds chirping, <laughs> steal piece of chalk. Um, so, anytime, it, so in general, anytime you have something like this, f of x squared plus g of y squared is equal to r squared, then you can do the following, that, uh, so then f of x is r cosine t, g of y is r sine t, and if you can invert f and g, then you can figure out, which is really easy in this case, then you can get parametric equations for, for x and y. So that's one situation where you can come up with parametric equations. <clears throat> okay. All right. Questions about this one? Apparently, oh, there are racers, but they're all the way over there. So they just got choked the dirty right. rag. Yeah, not a much problem done. <laughs> so now Aaron's right. You are halfway through. Well, we'll see. <laughs> well, I did half of another problem and then stopped. Oh, okay. So, um, five and a half. Okay. <laughs> Well, a lot better shape than the rest of the class, I'm sure. Yeah. I didn't start until... Yes. Where was the video? Well, oh, this thing's too easy, apparently. <laughs> well, no, okay, I did the first one the day before. Oh, okay. <laughs> All right. Spring parties we did at the Ah. I played some. So, for number three, the formulas involved formula. Um, is this one, if you have integral over a curve of a vector field, then it's going to be the integral from A to B. Um, okay, these are curves in free space. Uh, and I'm going to write 
F is has these components, P, Q, R. Where's my rag? Okay. And the curve is parameterized by R of T, A is less than equal to T, less than equal to B. And this is it. so in these cases, R of T is given. X of T, Y of T, Z of T. So now you're going to have P, X of T, Y of T, Z of T, X prime of T plus Q, X of T, Y of T. I really wish I could copy and paste when I write. Mm -hmm. um, have you ever seen the Promethean board thing? Promethean board? Mm -hmm. I've seen it's a lot like, of fancy board things, but not. It's like. Yeah. It's hooked up to a computer, but it projects on the screen, uh -huh. and you have like a little clicker, so you can use it like a computer too. Oh, okay. Right, it turns into actual numeric mm -hmm. values. Oh, oh, so are you writing on a pad or something, and it, mm -hmm. and it goes? You're writing on the board. You can write on either. Like, oh, you can okay. You write on the board with your little yeah. thing, but then you can like highlight, you can draw pictures, you can go to other stuff. Oh, on the okay. Internet. Oh, well, if USM ever gets the equipment. Thousand dollars <laughs> a board. Never mm -hmm. Yeah. My high school, I mean, we, we put them in in every classroom. The math well, and half the teachers didn't use them. I was like, well, that was a waste of money. I was like, there are so many other things that have gone towards. Does the math department have like millions of dollars in reserve right now, or do they spend that, or? What? Some, well, I, uh, well, I thought what? I heard the math department had like some money in reserve. Um, we had our operating budget wiped out by the last round of cuts. Okay, all right. <laughs> so, I'll just say. Yeah, we used to have a good amount of money like before I got here. Um, <clears throat> And I come here and I find it. Oh, it's all gone. Um, so, actually, yeah. I, I, what administrations like to do is make all the classrooms super technological because it makes them look good. But then teachers are like, well, we they like to use the old-fashioned way. So, unfortunate. Um, so, so that's the formula they're going to use. Um, so it's so this whole thing is. A vector field evaluated at R of t dot product with R prime of t. Okay, in this case, you're given the uh, parameterizations um, and other formulas that may or may not be applicable is the following the fundamental theorem of line integrals that. If you have an integral that's of this form, gradient of a function f divided by your parameterization dot r prime t. So in other words, big F is a gradient of little f. Then it's all you got to do is take that function little f if you have it and evaluate it. at the endpoints. So if you're in that situation, it's a whole lot easier. Um, which, of course, would imply that if, that if C is a closed curve, then this whole thing would be zero. Um, so if F is conservative, then a line integral of a curve that takes you from point A to point B Independence of path. Okay, so you have to determine which of these formulas are applicable in this problem. Well, this one definitely is. Um, if the other ones are, they will help you quite a bit. If not, then well, it's a little more tedious. <clears throat> I hate when I find dumb errors. Okay. So you knocked down to four and a half now? I forgot. I factored out a T to simplify something. Uh -huh. And then I didn't put it in in the next step. Oh. And finished working out the problems. Oh, is this on part B? Yeah. Okay. Um, there's other things you can do for part B as well. well yeah. Well, if you take into account that. Yep. <clears throat> okay. Oh, I should say, for completeness, I said this 